Hiya, it is the Red Men TV, Liverpool have just beaten Nottingham Forest 3-0 at Anfield and continue their good run of form after the international break. It is a feel-good factor around Liverpool right now um, and it was boss. It was just a nice Sunday watching the Reds be great at football uh, and truthfully that's all we really want. I think we came out straight away, started really well um, and we put the pressure on. We were suffocating Nottingham Forest. Um, and we were, it was just wave after wave after wave in that first half uh, from Liverpool for attacks. But you know what? Nottingham Forest did hold on longer than maybe a couple of people expected. They frustrated Liverpool. Liverpool get their first goal after a spell in which you could tell they were getting frustrated um, because we just we couldn't break them down. We were you know having some lovely passages of football, but the final ball or the final touch just wasn't quite there. Um, and we get our goal from a counter attack, and it's possibly one of the end times we we could have done the counter attack in that first half because of how much possession we had. Um, I thought McAllister was superb today. He was brilliant, especially in that first half, breaking things up, winning tackles, um, his forward progression in terms of the way he picked the ball up and, and set us going. He was immense, immense today. Uh, and that's what we've missed from McAllister. We know he's playing out of position, but seeing poor performances like that in is really good. Um, and he's the reason we get the first goal. He wins the ball high up the pitch, um, sets me Salah away with a lovely ball. Salah sets uh, Nunes away. Nunes um, makes you know the keeper save. Um, and obviously Diogo Jota, who else? He smells danger, he smells where that ball's gonna be. He's always lurking, he's so intelligent. Um, and he puts himself exactly where the ball lands and he slots it in the back of the net. Um, I thought Diego Jota was boss today as well. Um, and he got us going and we needed that breakthrough uh, because we were getting a little bit frustrated. But the Reds got it. Um, and the celebrations as well for, for Luis Diaz was absolutely lovely to see. Um, the three points are 100% for Luis Diaz uh, today. Um, I hope everything with him and his family is okay. Um, but as for the Reds, they did the business today. Um, and once again, Diego Jota slotting it as always is absolutely boss. Um, and from then, you could see Liverpool had the confidence because we knew not in the forest. You're going to have to come out at us at some point now. We've actually got um, the lead here, and that's what we needed. Um, and we go and get a second as well. And you know what? Um, second is just a boss passage of play. It's brilliant from the Reds. Uh, Diego Jota once again. He doesn't choose the easy pass, and he, he you know, does a, a risk reward. He waits for the the ball. Um, and the, the pass to open up, he does it, it's a brilliant pass and he sets us on our way. Mo Salah sets Sobersly, uh, Sobersly puts a ball into the box and Darwin Nunes, striker, poacher, get anything on the ball to put it in the back of the net and he was there. Uh, I thought Darwin Nunes was good today, I thought Sobersly relentless, he is incredible, he is some footballer in, you know. Um, but yeah, Liverpool went in at half time at 2-0 and we knew that, you know, I, I assume we thought Nottingham Forest would have to come out of us in the second half didn't really. In the second half, Liverpool just basically stopped playing footy for a bit. They got a bit bored. Um, in fact, they actually played sloppy because they were getting that bored. They wanted Nottingham Forest to have some chances, apparently. Um, by the way, Nottingham Forest, you know what, in that first half, uh, they counted really well. If they would have you know, done a couple of balls that were a little bit better, the final pass a little bit better in behind, they could have caused us trouble, um, but they didn't because they couldn't, uh, because a certain Virgil van Dijk was there, and he was ridiculously good today. That's Virgil van Dijk at his best, him smelling danger, him cutting out passes, the pace, the way he just absolutely steamrolls people when he needs to, he was unbelievable today. Uh, loved the performance from Virg. Uh, and yet, like I said, in the second half, Liverpool didn't really have to do much. They did get a third goal, though. Uh, Dominic Sobersly, the calmness, the, he's the coolest footballer I've ever seen. Um, on the edge of the box, just chests the ball, volleys it up uh, um, towards the direction of Mo Salah. Uh, their goalkeeper in there, I want to say left back, but I don't know, because they actually push loads of people forward for this throw-in. Um, just kind of decided to get in each other's way, not put an aim on it, and the ball perfectly lands at Mo Salah, who has an open goal. Uh, he is ineffable, isn't he? Let's be honest. He wasn't great today, but he gets a goal again because he's just he just keeps going. He just goes and goes and goes again. He is relentless. He is ineffable. Uh, his goal is, is a boss goal as well. Uh, and that rounds it off. We could have had a four, but it was offside in extra time. Oh, hello. Uh, but as I said, Liverpool were boss today. Um, it's just great seeing Liverpool winning. It's just boss football. There's a boss group of lads there, uh, and I couldn't be any happier. Uh, but until the next one, up the Reds.